In this video, we'll be looking at Movad VPN, a Swedish-based VPN with heavy emphasis on privacy. So much so that you don't even need an email account to sign up. This isn't a sponsored video, by the way, and in fact, Movad is one of the few VPNs that doesn't do sponsorship or affiliate links. Movad VPN has been around since 2009, and it's one of the few VPNs that check all the boxes when it comes to pricing, policy, and privacy, at least for me. And I believe the Firefox VPN service uses Movad as the backend as well, so it's got some clout. As mentioned earlier, Movad requires no email to create an account. Instead, it generates an account number which you use to log in. like here. Movad also doesn't log user activity. This includes things like your IP address, the traffic, and DNS requests, as shown down here. Movad also does not pay for reviews or affiliates, and they don't allow third-party advertisement on their website. They do pay for advertisement, however. Movad VPN is one of the most flexible and affordable VPNs as well. You can pay as little as five bucks a month, or pay in monthly increments. And you can see here all the payment options you have, as well as credit card, PayPal, cash, Bitcoin, and so forth. These are all the one-time payments, and you can pay as a subscription via card or PayPal. You can use the VPN on up to five devices. And there are apps available for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, and Firefox. The first thing we want to do when installing Mobad is go ahead and create an account. Again, this will generate an account number for you, which you should write down, save in a text document. Do not lose this account number, because if you do, you're going to have a very bad time trying to access your account. Go ahead and submit your payment, and then download. We'll get the version for Windows. I've already got it downloaded. And we will go through the installation. Once complete, we'll go ahead and run. We will see a notification pop up about the new version of Movad VPN that we have, as well as this padlock. And again, we're going to need that account number to log in. You do not use an email or password. You use that account number that was generated when you signed up. I'll go ahead and sign in now. Once you're logged in, you will see the default connection, which is set to Sweden. Clicking on here will give you a whole list of countries that you can choose from. I'll choose Switzerland, for example. And it will go ahead and connect to the VPN in Switzerland. You can easily check this by simply doing an IP search in Google and you will notice your IP address is different from the IP address given to you by your ISP. So we know that we're connected and we have the green padlock. If we go and click this cog icon here we have some settings, our account information which tells us that we have this many days left on our account before we need to resubscribe. We've got preferences there is a kill switch in Movad. This helps prevent traffic leakage if you have a network disturbance. You can choose to launch the VPN on startup and auto connect. It also has ad blocking and tracker blocking as well as malware blocking. I usually just have all those checked. And then this option, local network sharing, this is very important if you are connecting to other devices such as the NAS or printers. You want to enable this as well so that you can still connect to those devices over your VPN. And you have some additional options down here. Under advanced, you can enable IPv6, always require a VPN. What this option will do is make it so that you can only access the internet when you're connected to your VPN. And if you disconnect from the VPN or close the app, you will have no internet access. Split tunneling is available. You can choose which applications you want to exclude from the VPN tunnel. 
Tunnel protocol, you have automatic wire guard and open VPN. And your wire guard settings, you can enable multi hop, your IP version, and configure your wire guard key. You can also choose a custom DNS server, although you have to disable the ad blocking and tracking blocking in order to customize this. So we're connected. If I go to YouTube, we'll see that our YouTube is a different country. And if we just go to Google.com, we see that we're in Switzerland. Move that app for Android. We open it up. Again, we get the same interface as on PC where we can choose our server. In this case, I'll pick Canada and we're immediately connecting. We go up to the cog and go to settings. Again, we have our preferences where we can choose to auto connect and do local sharing. Under advanced, we have our wire guard key settings and tunnel splitting and we can configure our DNS server. The mobile app does not include features like the ad blocking or the traffic blocking and all of that stuff. It's a pretty stripped down version of the PC application, which is kind of a bummer. Regardless though, we do have the VPN active and running on our Android device. No product or service is perfect, and a review for a VPN with all pros and no cons is a little suspect to me. Movad is no exception. Movad is based in Sweden, and Sweden is part of the 14 Eyes Alliance, a group of countries that shares user internet activity from ISPs. Do keep in mind, though, that Movad does not log information about your activity or your IP. Another knock that I have against Movad is the mobile app. Like I said earlier, it's very basic and stripped down version of the desktop app. It doesn't have a lot of the features of the main application. However, you can combine the Movad VPN with such applications like Blockada for ad blocking and tracking blocking. And I might do a video on that as well. So there is a look at Movad VPN for PC and mobile.